so it's about 9 30 tired tired i'm gonna make it a short day uh gotta go up there cross over into the grovant drainage and uh leaving shoal lake which was really nice had a thunderstorm last night uh about four o'clock didn't rain too much thank goodness but uh first try for the tent and there's a Kind of a last look at Shoal Lake. There's a little island out there. There's that one point, and then that other big one, taller one, is an island. Pretty neat place. So we gotta cross this creek for the last time, and on we go. And good morning, everybody. I love you and miss you. Away we go. <clears throat> and we made it. Kind of nice to make it dry. And so, uh, Here's a look from the other side of the lake. So, we're almost completely out of <coughs> Shoal Creek drainage. That's down there. And heading on over, gotta go top out there. It's a little uh, <clears throat> small pond that is on the map. And then I believe, I have to double check the map, I believe that's Darwin Peak. Original plan was to go off trail to the east, but uh, not happening. I'm gonna, too butt whooped from yesterday, so. I'm going to stay on the trails, go down into the uh, Grovant River drainage, find a nice place to camp, and I may well spend two nights if I find a nice spot, and recuperate. Let's walk. pass all right I think that one's Darwin Peak a big long one I don't know I'd have to look in the map as always welcome to the Grovant drainage And I am ready for some downhill. The air gets thin up here.
Here we are. Believe it or not, I'm on the trail. And what there is of it, not easy to find. Not well used. You might be able to make it out on that hilltop in the meadow up there, right over the top. <clears throat> goes down beyond where those goes down to those pine trees in that drainage and uh, this meets up with the trail along the Grove Aunt and uh, when I get down there I'm gonna probably just find a nice place to hang out to find. I do have some difficulty myself. <laughs> <laughs> 